Well, August 15th, this is what we have to work with. Okay. Tooth, shell, tooth. I'm pretty sure this is bone, and this is bone. And I was looking. Okay. Let's get a nice close-up look. As anyone can see, this little juvenile dinosaur had horns. And there's some nice skin right there. You know, that's still soft to the touch. This here, I believe, is part of the skull cap because that is a tooth hole. Oh my god, there's I can see where the serrated edge. Yeah, there's even a serrated edge in there. It was killed by a I believe this is a carnivore and it was killed by another carnivore because there is a serrated edge in there. start. There's so many places to start. This here, I, yesterday I did a bird's eye view uh, of it and I noticed how this was in such a strange shape. But I think this part here is just a stone. Behind it, it might be something interesting. So I'll start stripping here. And working here oh gosh but as you can see there's a lot there's there's a whole big area to work with Got to go all the way around it I am sure there's going to be fossil seashells teeth oh and let's not forget this this I believe it is part of the fossil, but only time will tell because I have to get rid of this. My, 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 my. I certainly hope the New Brunswick Museum and the Brent City and anyone, City Hall, Someone should take action of some kind and help save this fossil from the high tides. Well, I've got to get to work. Put this camera back in plastic because I don't know when it's going to rain. And the tide will come back in eventually, so yeah, I got to get back. I got to get back to doing what I do.